says Tucson, closed forever? Tucson Mayor and Council are considering a budget proposal that sells the building that houses Access Tucson and eliminates all funding. These actions would end 30 years of community media that's accessible to all. Let our Mayor and Council know that Tucson still needs public access to community media. Find out how. Go to accesstucson.org. My name is Lisa Jones. I'm running for re-election to the Access Tucson Board of Directors. I won't go over my qualifications here, since all that info will be in your ballot packet. And of course, I'm hoping you'll vote for me. However, there is something much more critical happening to Access Tucson these days, a grave threat to its very existence. At the March 25th Mayor and Council meeting, the city manager, Richard Miranda, presented the City of Tucson's 2015 budget and that fiscal year will actually begin this coming July 1st. In his budget proposal, Mr. Miranda recommended that Access Tucson be completely, and I'm quoting here, zeroed out, and that our building at 124 East Broadway be sold. And if that weren't enough, in stark follow-up, Access Tucson has now received a 90-day eviction notice from the city of Tucson. Well, what can we do? For starters, you can go to Access Tucson's website for how you can take action. That's accesstucson.org. In its 30 years, Access Tucson has had a whole lot of wild roller coaster rides to keep itself in existence. And with a whole lot of work from a whole lot of dedicated people, we've always managed to come through. But now, this is the worst threat ever. We cannot take getting through this crisis for granted. If you care about Access Tucson as deeply as I do, please take a few minutes to contact the Marin City Council. Let them know why Access Tucson is important to you and why you believe it's still so important to the Tucson community. And ask your network of friends to do the same. Use social media. Whatever. We must all do all we can if Access Tucson is to survive. And I would like to keep fighting for Access Tucson as a member of the Board of Directors. Thank you. My name is Veronica Phillips, and thank you for listening. I was invited recently to be part of the Board of Directors for Access Tucson, and I'm truly honored. I wanted to give you a bit of my background. I've lived in Tucson, Arizona for the past 14 years. I am originally from Toledo, Ohio, and I have visited every state in the United States. This has given me a very unique perspective in what I do currently, which I am a business and life coaching consultant. I have helped approximately 200 people a year, and next year I'll be celebrating my 10th year anniversary. I also um, in I'm honored and flattered to be considered to be part of Access Tucson because it provides a voice, a very unique grassroots one-on-one -on -one voice for people to be heard and deal with issues that are not addressed. I know that this is budget crunch time and people are getting very anxious and very worried. I am new blood and what I can bring to the table is a unique perspective of 25 years of sales, customer service, as well as marketing experience. I also am blessed to have several different contacts throughout the Tucson community, Marana community, Oro Valley community, and out of state as well. Um, I believe in working as a team, and I would like to be considered to be part of your team. I have a bachelor's degree uh, from Denison University, and I have a master's degree from University of Phoenix. In addition to my unique perspective, I am an ordained minister, uh, non-denominational. Non I do believe in mixing and blending spirituality with um, common sense, and I believe that with my unique perspective of being able to see patterns with people and making recommendations that are unique, I don't think outside the box, I help you build yours. So I would be honored to be considered and voted on to the Board of Directors. I thank you for your time, and I thank you for um, this opportunity.